our finance series picks back up this morning. Our financial mm -hmm. planner's philosophy is that you work hard for your money, but in reality, mm -hmm. your money should be mm -hmm. working hard for you. Last time mm -hmm. we spoke mm -hmm. about why you need to start saving now for retirement. Today we're going to talk mm -hmm. about individual retirement accounts. Roxanne, thank you for being back with me this morning. Thank you, Jenna. I'm glad to be here to talk about this important topic. Roxanne, mm. what is an individual retirement account? Well, it's an account that the government established back in the early 1980s so that people could save for retirement easily. The account can be established at your bank, at a credit union, or in a brokerage account. Why set up mm. a traditional IRA? Well, a traditional IRA allows you to receive a tax deduction and the money will grow in the account until you take money out on a tax deferred basis. What are mm. the contribution mm. limits in 2013? Well, if you are working, you can contribute up to the amount that you work. Uh, the maximum contribution, if you are under age 50, Jenna, this year is $5,500 or $6,500 if you're over age 50. Now, can you have mm. both a traditional IRA and a retirement plan at work? Yes, you can have both. Um, the issue is that the income may not be tax deductible if your income is above certain limits. If you're filing a single return, then your income needs to be below $59,000. If you're filing a joint return, joint filing married, then your income needs to be less than $112,000 if you're going to receive the full tax deduction. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's say that you're married, Roxanne, yep. and your spouse is not mm -hmm. covered by a retirement plan at mm -hmm. work. Right. What happens then? Well, if you're working and you're participating in a retirement plan, but your spouse isn't working, as long as your income is less than $178,000, then you can have, your wife can have, or your other spouse, depending upon whether it's a wife or a husband, mm -hmm. can contribute up to the $6,500, again, if they're over age 50 or $5,500 if they're younger. So you can contribute to an IRA at any age? No, you can't. Uh, you can't contribute over age 70 and a half. Mm -hmm. And then must you take mm -hmm. funds out of the IRA mm -hmm. at any age? Yes, you need to start taking contributions out when you're age 70 and a half and that's determined by an IRS table uh, based upon your life expectancy. If you take funds out of a plan, Jenna, before you're age 59 and a half, Remember, you've been receiving a tax deduction for the monies and tax deferred growth all of these years. Ultimately, if you take it out when you're under age 59 and a half, you'll have to pay a 10% penalty. The government would really like you to keep the monies invested for retirement. So before age 59 and a half, you, you incur a 10% penalty. And at that time, the income is taxed as ordinary income. Over age 70 and a half, if you've never taken a distribution, you have to start taking it at that point in time. Now, would you say there's anything additional that we need to know about traditional IRAs? Well, I think one thing that a lot of people aren't aware of, if your income, if you're again filing singly, uh, your adjusted gross income is $28,750 or less, then you're going to get a $2,000 tax credit. It's not a tax deduction, Jenna. It's an actual credit against the amount of monies that you owe the IRS. If your income is less than $57,500, if you're filing jointly, then you can receive that credit and it can be up to $4,000. So a credit's really important. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a real benefit. Uh, again, the government would like people to really participate in IRAs. Now, Roxanne, mm -hmm. last time on the show, mm -hmm. you talked about mm -hmm. compounding of money. Yes. Can you review that with us again this morning? Yes, I, I, compounding of money is really important. It's essentially, how does your money grow over time? So if you have $2,000 in an account, how long does it take for it to go to $4,000, then to $8,000, and on and on? Uh, let me give you an example. If someone's age 25, Jenna, and they are young like you, and they start saving uh, $2,000 a year, every year, in a in IRA, and they are able to earn an 8% rate of return, their money would compound every nine years. If they contribute for 40 years until they're age 65, and they achieve an average return of 8% per year, they'd have about $702,000 in their account at age 65. Now let's say someone waits until they're age 45, and they contribute that same $2,000 a year, and they do that for the next 20 years, and they are at age 65 looking at their account balance. Instead of $702,000, they're 
they'll have a little over $118,000. Mm -hmm. So starting when you're younger and allowing that money to compound over time is really important. I do have one comment, which is we'll never be younger than we are today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you can't move back to being age 25, you can start saving in an IRA or other kind of retirement plan today uh, mm -hmm. to benefit you in the future. Yeah, well, I'm definitely taking your advice, so Roxanne, I want to start <laughs> saving now. I realize after talking with you just how important it is. Great. Roxanne, mm -hmm. I want to touch real quick on the other type of IRA, Correct. which is the Roth IRA. Yes. How does it differ from the traditional one? Well, Roth IRAs are, are different in a number of ways. Number one, you don't get a tax deduction for the contribution that you make, but the money will go ahead and it will grow tax free, not tax deferred. So ultimately, you know, when you take money out of the plan, you'll never pay taxes on it. Number two, you can go ahead and make contributions at any age. There's no limit, which we had previously with a traditional IRA. Uh, next, when you take money, if you've had money in a Roth IRA for five years, you can take out the principal again with no income tax consequences and after age 59 and a half jenny you can take out the principal in the earnings at any point in time mm -hmm. with no tax implications and what are the contribution limits roxanne yeah. for 2013 well they're the same as they are for traditional iras again it's fifty five hundred dollars if you are under age 50 or sixty five hundred dollars if you're over age 50. there is one little glitch with the roth ira if your income is adjusted gross income is higher than $178,000, then you can't contribute to a Roth. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. how would mm -hmm. one make the choice as to which one mm -hmm. they pick? Well, you know, Jenna, you can contribute to either one or the other or both. Uh, most people who choose a traditional IRA are looking at, I really want that tax deduction. Mm -hmm. And I'm anticipating when I retire that my income will be my, my taxable income will be less, and so I won't have as much taxes to pay at retirement. Uh, people will choose a Roth IRA if the deduction's not important to them this year, mm -hmm. and if they want that tax-free income and they anticipate that their income may be higher in retirement than it would be today. So it's not uncommon for people to say, gee, I think I'll have both. This year, if I'm going to contribute $2,000, I'll put $1,000 in a regular IRA, traditional, mm -hmm. and $1,000 in a Roth. Great. And now if you have any more information mm -hmm. about everything mm -hmm. that we touched on this morning, you can contact mm -hmm. Roxanne, ask, ask her any questions. Roxanne, mm -hmm. what will we be talking about the next time that you are on the show? The next time we're on the show, we're going to talk about retirement plans, IRAs, specifically designed for small employers. There's a simple IRA plan. Mm -hmm. And there's also a SEP plan, which stands for Simplified Employee Pension Plan. And we're going to cover those two types of IRA plans next time when I'm on the show. Great. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you again for being on this morning. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back mm -hmm. after these messages.